came to the book, all that's left is to add some nightshade leaves and speak the incantation while moving my hand in a clockwise motion over the cauldron. Apage maculum in face tua. Efides de cores Careful, Move your hand too fast and your potion will... <coughs> explode. <coughs> Ugh, I don't understand why this is so difficult. Witches have been making acne cures for ages, and yet mine keeps blowing up in my face. You keep trying to rush the process. Your magic is binding all the ingredients together when you wave your hand over the cauldron. And binding magic cannot be rushed. It takes patience and finesse. But hey, you had a girl, you're improving. That explosion was nearly as big as the last one. Uh, I need a break. Cecilia! You will never get better at this if you don't keep trying. It's not like I'm giving up. I just need a break, Hissy. This... This is so draining. At least let me go and grab a snack from the kitchen. <sighs> Fine. I suppose we have been at this for a while. Thank you. <sighs> I wonder when Nana is coming home. She's been gone for a while. She had that dinner with Headmistress Whitgren, didn't she? Yeah, I guess the two of them were friends when they attended Silvermoon. <sighs> I just hope she's not asking for any favors on my behalf. Oh, please. She wouldn't do that. Would she? Seriously. <clears throat> Remember, Cecilia, you are a Nevermore. As such, you are expected to meet certain standards. Our family has spent generations making a name for ourselves in the magical world, and I will not have all of our hard work be undone by you. That is a spot-on impression. <sighs> Honestly, I wouldn't put it past Nana to use her connections. She's so focused on the family's image that sometimes I wonder if she would have preferred a different granddaughter. One in the primal class, perhaps. Oh, hey, you're not to make cookies. <laughs> Yippee. Hmm? <laughs> it's... I know who it is, and I also know you're not going. Oh, that's all right. Because he's here. Coming! You know, back in my day, men would give us a couple of days' notice before a visit. So rude. Yeah? That's because back in your day, the men were too busy building the pyramids. You know as well as I do that I'm only 300 years old. You missed about 4,000 years of history between the construction of the pyramids and my birth. Do not tell me that we have to brush up on that, too. Hey, babe. Oh, it's so good to see you. Ugh. You remember my familiar? That's his merit to you, you uncultured swine. Be nice, hissy. <sighs> uh, ignore her. How have you been? So, you went to a convention this week? Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm really happy to hear you're doing well. Me? Oh, well, my classes at Silvermoon have started. <sighs> it's no different than college. I've got a ton of homework to do. Which we need to return to, so nice to see you again. Thanks for dropping by. Next time give us a bit more of an advance notice, maybe send a letter. Now go away! Hissy, knock it off. Well, excuse me, young lady, but that acne cure is not going to mix itself. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm mixing an acne cure for my introduction to potions class. And she needs to concentrate, so off you go. Of, of course. course not. Wait, what? Well, I don't 
see why he can't watch me mix a potion. One word. Boom. But hey, if you want to see him go out in a potion explosion, I'm not going to miss him. Hissy. That's a horrible thing to say. You're the one who wants him to sit in on your potion session. Each session that, might I remind you, has had less than satisfactory results so far. Ignore her. Follow me. Yeah, I guess it is pretty cool. Is it, though? First off, the shade is completely wrong. Second, it is not supposed to be smoking. And third... <laughs> it smells like a gas station's men's room. Well, it's definitely not supposed to smell this bad. Well, <clears throat> since this batch is no good, I have to start over from scratch. Ooh. I'll be right back. I gotta dump this out. Hissy, be nice. Exactly what part of my expression says I'm interested in small talk. Why on earth would you want to get to know me better? Oh, so since I'm important to your girlfriend, I am now automatically important to you as well. You know, we had a word for people like you back in my day. What was it? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, kids there. Well, here you go, lover boy. Buck her up. Hope you don't mind the fur. You two getting along? Yes, I do believe we have come to an understanding. Okay. Well, the cauldron is clean, so let's get started. Okay, so I've added the diamond dust, the eyes of newt, and the holy water. Now all that's left is to add the nightshade leaves and pray. Hey babe, can you hand me that bottle over there on the shelf? Thanks. Okay. Now I've got to circle the cauldron with my hand before reciting the incantation. Hang on. Let me see that bottle. These are nightshade leaves. They're nightshade petals. Cecilia, stop whatever you're doing. What? What happened? He gave you the wrong ingredient. That's what happened. Do you have any idea what you could have done? You could have wiped us off the face of the planet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Easy, mate. Calm down. Deep. <gasps> Relaxing. <sighs> Breaths. Okay. Let's assess the damage. Wait a second. What is it? Is it that bad? Hmm. I can't be sure just yet. Cecilia, do you have any dead plants laying around? Uh, yeah. Here. I've got this dead rose. Oh my god. It's just like new, but... But how... I cannot believe it. You created a rejuvenation potion. That is a very difficult potion to brew. Cecilia won't learn anything like this until her third year at Silver Moon. Wow, babe. You're incredible. Or unbelievably lucky. And there's only one way to find out. You want to come back tomorrow? Wait. So now you like him and want him around? If he can help you improve your magic, I'll throw him a parade every time he walks through that door. Please, don't. Wait, seriously? Well, then it's settled. Here's a list of things you'll need to pick up. There's this hippie shack down there that sells everything you'll need. Just look for the creepy window with the beaded dog. Yes, beaded dog. Yes, the dog has beads in its fur. Now here's some money. Be sure to wait until Cecilia's grandmother leaves for the day. It's Friday, so she's got her bingo tournament down at the lodge around 5 o'clock. 
Any questions? Okay, great. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Hissy? Hello everyone, I am The Little Ragdoll, and I just wanted to thank you all for supporting my channel and enjoying my content. If you're new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and to turn on notifications to ensure that you never miss any of my weekly videos. The link to my Discord server can be found in my profile. You can chat with me and meet some really incredible people. So until then, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.